So somebody didn't do something. Somebody stopped doing something. Somebody could have stopped caring. Um, and that could be why something fell apart with the falls here. Um, someone's in their feelings and they're going without something. So someone is without something. This could be you or a divine femme or divine masculine. Um, so they're just messing with whoever. So someone is dealing with just whoever. Because it's just more simple. I mean, that's the energy I'm getting. Somebody didn't want to put in the work um, to be in a relationship or to be with somebody that, um, you know, wanted to be with them. And now someone is in their feelings, but because they're, do they're going without something or someone, um, but they're the reason that something fell apart. And now they're just dealing with whoever because it's more simple than actually changing or putting in work. Um, somebody doesn't want to do the shadow work. Somebody doesn't, um, I don't know if this person just feels like they're too old to change. They don't, they're not interested in changing. Let's see what's going on. Ah. Uh. So I have trick in the reverse. So somebody was a trick or they were using tricks. <laughs> I don't want to say, I, I don't mean it like, uh, you know, someone was turning tricks, although, you know, that can be the case. Uh, but somebody created an imbalance because of their tricks. Um, somebody was very manipulative and cunning and very um, much in like their trickster, um, you know, chaos causing Loki energy, very mischievous. Um, and you may have had to take a rest period, or you may be resting or recovering from this. Um, you know, you could have put in the work into a relationship, and this person didn't want to. Um, and now they're going without, and now they're just dealing with whomever and whatever. And this is kind of scary, because some, I feel like someone's being very reckless. This person created some sort of injustice. And a very emotional time with the Five of Cups here and the Justice being in the reverse. So somebody... Um, created a very emotional situation, uh, maybe for you and themselves. This person was all up in their feelings about some sort of injustice that they caused. Something was very out of balance. Uh, so there's a liar here with the Queen of Swords. Um, somebody, this Queen of Swords energy could be um, all up in their feelings because they're not making finances or they could have stopped you um, in some way from trying to make finances. It's like they could have planted seeds with some sort of lies. Um, someone was being very tricky and they, they were lying about something to stop someone's money from growing. And somebody walked away from this person because of the lies that they were telling. So somebody was very much in their Queen of Swords energy, very much um, lying, being deceptive, very cold-hearted. This was a karmic love situation. Um, there's some sort of cleanup that has to be done. Somebody could want to clean up this betrayal, but it's just easier to not deal with it and just move on with their life with, um, anybody else because it's easier than actually having to admit what they did to a divine, um, femme or masculine. Somebody's juggling finances, like somebody's in a state of poverty with the one pinnacle here. This could be because of the injustice that was done to you. That could be another reason that you had to walk away from this person. Because there was a betrayal. This person was a thief, so they stole something from you. So they lied to take something from you. Um, whoever this message is going to resonate for. Um, and it, they've affected your ability to make money. So they could have affected your ability to even find new work. It's like they robbed you blind and left you with one pinnacle. And they were a thief. And they're in their feelings because they're going without you and your energy. They thought that you were easily replaceable. And they're finding out that that's not the case. Oh, my dear. You're moving on to calmer waters. Man or woman, you're moving on. Even if it's a struggle financially for you, you're still moving forward. You're still moving on to calmer waters. 
Um, it's maybe just taking you a little bit longer to get there because you're rowing the boat all by yourself, you know, with all those swords in your, in your boat there. Um, but you're manifesting good things and you heal from a heartbreak and you have a treasure. Even if the treasure is inside you, you are a treasure. You have a treasure and that's helping you get through something. Your treasure could be your ability to manifest. You could be one hell of a manifester. Especially if you're very tapped in right now. Um, you could even just speak the word. I mean, and this, you know, some people say spell works different things, but... Um, if you are manifesting and vibrating on that high level, sorry, you could just speak the words and light a candle. It could be a white candle. It could be any, whatever candle. I mean, you could just do something very simple and you can bring something into fruition. Um, you could even just think it, um, you know, meditate on something and something can come, you know, active for you. It's like you're very activated, um, Whatever powers you have are very activated at this time because you've had time to rest and recuperate from something. So it's like your powers, your spiritual gifts have been heightened in some way. This was a high priest or priestess in the reverse that lied about something to try to, to affect your finances in some way. That tried to steal something from you. This could even be somebody who was trying to steal your work or tried to copy or imitate your gifts. Someone is rushing in with some sort of truth here with the Knight of Swords. Someone is rushing towards another person. This could be to help clean up this betrayal. We'll pull a few more cards and see what's going on here. Let's see who's rushing towards you. Let's see if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, so someone is rushing in because they're going without. They're all up in their feelings and very emotional with the Nine of Swords. Um, or somebody could be rushing towards you because you feel a sense of betrayal, but I feel like you've already healed. So it already came out that you healed from this or you're healing from this. You've had your rest period. So I feel like this person is rushing towards you to make themselves feel better. Someone is getting enlightened to a very big piece of information with the Ace of Wands here. This is like a missing piece of the puzzle. So someone could be rushing towards you because they could be in despair about finding out what this high priest or priestess in reverse did to you. And they want to help clean this up in some way. I mean, there's a, like I said, there was an injustice here and someone's in poverty. So someone may not have been aware of that. Maybe someone's finding out that, you know, um... Everything that happened, someone could have been in the dark. There's somebody that wants to come towards you. This could be an emperor energy, but they're stuck. There's a barrier that's stopping this person from coming towards you. Don't jump on my bed. Yeah, somebody, this high priest or priestess in the reverse was um, trying to affect someone's financial stability. And this could be whatever this person is finding out that what um, somebody really told some big lies. There's a big lie. Like there's, a, you know, this person could be a compulsive liar, but there's a really big lie that um, someone is finding out about. This was a very damaging lie. One that was big enough to possibly cost you your career and put you in a state of poverty. Um, this person was not someone's Ten of Cups. This was um, someone that you may have thought this was your Ten of Cups at one time, but this was not um, a happy union. This is like a breakup of a family unit or, a, you know, a relationship here. You could have possibly had to get creative about your finances because you're in a state of poverty with the Page of Pentacles. <coughs> you may have had to change directions, change lanes change career paths altogether. Yeah, somebody didn't offer you the flowers here. And we have a king of pentacles um, that could want to come towards you as the wounded warrior. Or you could be the king of pentacles. Take it how it resonates. 
Um, I feel like you could be in your King of Pentacles energy. Even if you only have one pentacle, you're still in that mindset. It's an energy. Um, so even if you're broke, you're still in that boss energy as far as money goes. I mean, just because you're broke doesn't mean you don't know how to manage your finances. It's quite the opposite. Whatever situation you're in, it's not because of something you did. It's because of something that some someone else did. Someone is rushing in with some sort of truth. The Knight of Swords, someone's rushing in to bring balance to a situation here. Someone wants to kiss and make this all better. Someone's going from rags to riches um, to the Ten of Pentacles here because somebody worked really hard against another person. They weren't caring towards that. I mean, this is definitely King or Queen of Swords in the reverse energy. Someone was very cold-hearted. They worked against you. They could have used your children. This could have been a parental figure. You could have been a parental figure. Somebody could have used your kids against you. You could have lost your kids because you've gotten you were put in a state of poverty. Um, but this King of Pentacles wants to go towards somebody, um, and they're going to end up in their Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like this could be um, a divine counterpart that wants to come towards you. I feel like your energy hasn't really come out yet. I feel like this is the person that wants to come towards you. The King of Pentacles is the person that wants to come towards you. Where you are, the King of Pentacles, that wants to go towards somebody else, depending on where you are in this reading. Financial balance has to be restored. There's going to be an ending to something with the death card, or there was an ending to something. Oh, there was an ending to someone's work because of this. Because somebody was not empathetic or caring. You could have asked someone to help you or told someone your situation maybe at work, and somebody didn't care, and they could have prob they probably fired you anyways. Like, th this person was very uncaring towards you. Um, with the Queen of Swords, um, somebody could have contacted somebody that you worked with, the Queen of Swords, they could have called your employer and told some sort of lie about you. Once again, you're still moving on to calmer water. Something is over Ten of Swords. There was a final ending after a betrayal to stop you from getting offers. This could even be job offers. Somebody didn't want you to do anything with your career, with your money, with your finances. I mean, somebody did some really damaging shit to you when it came to your job, your career, money. I mean, someone didn't want you to make any money. And now it's funny because now this person's all up in their feelings because they're without you after all this shit that they've done to you. It's no wonder. I mean, are you kidding me? This person did the most. I mean, they worked really hard to do this and betray you to stop you from getting any offers. I mean, this is a career ending lie, whatever this was. I mean, this wasn't just a little fib. I mean, this was definitely a very damaging thing that somebody was accused of doing. I'm strongly getting some sort of accusation. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of justice because somebody tried to steal a treasure. This could be your your gifts, your talents, whatever it is, your treasure. Um, whatever you're talented at um, or whatever gifts you have, somebody wanted to take them for themselves. Somebody was very jealous of how good you were at your work. And it's like they wanted you completely out of the field. You're going to be celebrating um, somebody was working with somebody else secretly, you know, with the Scorpio here, we have an ending. Um, somebody wanted to put a, an ending, a, fina a finality, a complete um, ending to whatever career job you have, whatever talent you have, and they worked with somebody else to do this. They wanted to have a permanent ending for you. They didn't want you to work in whatever field this is ever again. You're going to have a gift given to you with the Ace of Wands here because somebody wanted to stop you from having a new start, a new beginning. It's like somebody worked really hard to stop you from moving forward every chance they got. This person was really big. Oh. Butthole. <laughs> Let's get in here and see. Yeah, somebody didn't want you to travel or be moved. Somebody didn't want you happy, carefree, moving. 
Somebody didn't... Somebody that you were in a relationship didn't want you to be happy. They didn't want you to be relaxed. They didn't want you to be comfortable. Somebody didn't want you to be comfortable um, in life. They didn't want you to have stability. They thought this was funny. That's why you could have walked away from this person because they didn't. They were trying to stop a transformation from happening. They could have been trying to stop you from going through an ascension. Or from working on whatever spiritual gifts or talent you have. If you do something with spirituality. Um, whatever you're tapped into. This person that you were in a relationship with. Did everything they could to stop you. And actually cause a regression. Or a death. Um, a final ending even to you. Um, yeah. That's, that's some really dark stuff right there. That's why you're moving on, you're traveling on, you're moving on, and then we have an emperor here in the reverse, so we have a masculine energy in the reverse that was working with somebody, so this is a masculine, and then we have the queen of swords that came out in the beginning, so there's a masculine and feminine energy working together on this. Yeah, someone likes to sleep around. Someone sleeps around with a lot of people. This person, this emperor in reverse. Um, this is like king of wands in the reverse energy. Um, this person likes to sleep with multiple people. Um, and they are doing that now. They're sleeping with multiple people. They don't care. They're, they're caught up in their feelings. Um, they just want what's easy, what's convenient. This person's non-committal and I don't see them settling down anytime soon. This person may be incapable of feeling love, but they feel like maybe you were the closest. But I feel like when it comes down to real love or genuine love or empathy, this person is incapable of feeling that. Somebody feels like a fool for trying to control you. Someone is still trying to control a situation or a person. It's like they've wrapped their hands so tightly around you that you can't move, but you're still moving on to calmer waters, but they're still, it's like they're stuck. They can't move because they've got themselves in a bind. This person knows they can't control you, but they, they're still trying, even though they're still sleeping around with whoever's convenient. They still feel like there's a chance somehow. They just don't know how to approach you. This is really weird. This is somebody that didn't want anyone else looking at you. Um, they didn't want anyone to find you attractive. They were a fool for not seeing how attractive you are. Uh, this person's not happy in their current situation. They could actually be in a relationship with somebody else, but they're cheating on each other. They're not committed. Um, this person's not happy. They feel like they ended up with somebody who is not on their level mentally or intellectually. Yeah, this person... <laughs> this person um, said that you uh, were dumb and you just had your hand out. That you were... Oh my god. They could have said that you were cheating on them. That you slept around on them. Um, that you were a bum, that you just had your hand out, that you were uneducated, that you didn't know what you were talking about, that you were just a user. Everything that this person said about you is who they are. They just didn't want anyone to look at you in a positive light or be attracted to you. Yeah, somebody jumped at the chance, or somebody's jumping at the chance to be with this person, and they got their hooks dug into this person now, and now they can't get out of something. This person could have gotten another person pregnant. Yeah, somebody jumped at the opportunity, or is jumping at the opportunity, 
that this person was single after you walked away from them because they thought they were getting a catch. But this person's thirsting and lusting after a divine femme or masculine energy. So this person's not wanting to be with them. They're actually lusting after somebody else and drooling after them. But they can't have them, so they're just settling for what's easy. And this person doesn't, you know... Oh my god. This person is very easily manipulated. They're not on their level intellectually, so they buy whatever lie that they're told. Someone is being very abusive. This person is being very abusive to this person. Um, this Emperor energy, um, this King of Wands energy is being abusive towards um, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the person who lied. They tried to say that you were the crazy one, and now this person's left looking like a horse's ass. This person is an ass. They said that you were the crazy one. Imagine that. Somebody uh, needed a balanced diet. And this person snapped. So someone's in bad health. Um, this could be due to all their extracurricular activities they have going on. Or they could just not eat very well. They're, they don't take care of themselves. This person loved pointing out your mistakes. This person loves to point out what people do wrong. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel um, good um, to make others feel inferior. This person likes to feel like the smartest person in the room. And they think they are. This is a true narcissist. Yeah, they did this to um, a, a light worker, and they are not a light worker. This person's a very dark person. They already came out as a high priest or priestess in the reverse, so they didn't expect you to be a match for them when it came to their spell work and their bullshit. <coughs> this person is finding out that they lost their spiritual gifts because they used them on a light worker. They're depressed, they don't have these gifts anymore. They wanted you to fall for a trap, but you didn't fall for it. They tried to have you falsely arrested, or they did have you falsely arrested. Or they're trying to get you falsely arrested. You didn't fall for it because you walked away. This person was a gold digger. They wanted to get you arrested so they could steal all your shit while you were locked up. They say that you owe them money. They lied and said that you didn't pay for anything. If you lived under the same roof as this person, they said that you were the gold digger, you had your hand out, and that you owe them money. Um, something was... Um, somebody tried to make it look like something was all in divine timing, but this was a setup. You were targeted by this person because they're a gold digger. They're like a professional gold digger. This is what they do. They sleep with multiple people. They get what they can get out of them, time, money, energy, resources, whatever, and then they leave them. They're meeting up with somebody secretly. They tell people that um, something wasn't serious. Uh, maybe you were just living together, you just cleaned their house, whatever, um, that you have an open relationship. I don't know what all this person's... This person's a, a bold-faced liar. They go dip their wand in anything that moves, and this Queen of Swords energy isn't much better because she enables him, whoever this person is, um, she just doesn't, like, it's, it's not that she doesn't care, because she wanted you out of the picture, whoever you are, she wanted you out of the way, so it's not like she doesn't care altogether, but she doesn't, I mean, it, she cares when it comes to you, a divine femme being around this masculine, but you don't want anything to do with this nasty ass person anyway, this person is being controlled by spirits, there was a relative that was involved in this or that knows about it or participated in this. This could be a relative that is working with this person, sleeping with them, meeting up with them. Doesn't have to be, but a relative is involved somehow. Uh, 
Um, that's because the relative uh, thought they were going to get some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance from you. So there was a relative that was involved in this because they thought they were going to get something out of it. So if they could set you up to get you arrested, they could all steal your shit and divide it up while you were locked up. I'm hearing someone tried to get you charged or locked up for attempted uh, unaliving. Which is ironic because that's what they tried to do to you. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, that's what it was about. It was about money. It usually is, isn't it? They thought they were going to get some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance if you were gone. If they couldn't unalive you, they wanted you locked up. You expect an equal give and take. This person isn't capable of giving that to you. Um, the equal give and take, the, whatever is, the only thing that can balance out what this person did to you is the final ending for them. Kick the bucket. That is the only way to balance these scales out karmically because of everything that they did to you. That is the only justice that will make this right again because this person was a bald-faced liar. There's still a bottomless pit. They're not going to get better. This person is trying not to burn their bridges with you, uh, but they kind of already did that by putting you in the situation that they put you in. So it's a little late for that, I think. This person thought they were big man on campus. They're still putting on a dog and pony show, and they're holding a grudge against you because you're the best thing since sliced bread, and they're not. People like you, and nobody likes this person. <laughs> Oh, uh, this person wasn't passionate about you because they didn't see you as the stuff dreams were made out of, and you lost passion for this person because you saw that they were full of shit. <laughs> they were doing something in the nighttime before the crack of dawn, you know, when it was still dark outside, this person was up to no good, doing stuff they shouldn't have been doing. Doing spells, casting spells outside in the barn, shed, whatever. Something is going to be happening in the nick of time for somebody. Once bitten, twice shy. You're not going to ever trust this person again, again ever. Um, this situation is as dead as a doornail, and this person is going to be as dead as a doornail because they're going to kick the bucket. And they could know this. They could be upset with you if you're in good health because they know that they're not. Someone's being as slippery as an eel. Somebody's going to be having court soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. There could be something significant about a Friday with an Aries. Yeah, their intent was to make you poor as a church mouse. That was their intent. Now they're going to be hitting the panic button. That's what's going to be happening for them, or they are now, because they know something didn't work. Ah, somebody let the cat out of the bag. One of these karmics started talking. So somebody let... You could have even let the cat out of the bag about what happened. Somebody told the truth about somebody wanted you being in a state of poverty. One person has a foot in the grave and they're hitting the panic button. Someone's about to get 15 minutes of fame and you're going to have your moment of glory, your moment of truth. That is, you're going to, you're going to get your justice. I know I recently did a reading where someone um, may not find out the truth until someone passes. And then I have a Pisces here. Um, you flew the coop. It was only a matter, it's only a matter of time, so you left, you left in, just at the right time. Something was only a matter of time. <coughs> Someone's backed up against the wall, they know they can't get out of something. <coughs> they pulled the wool over a lot of people's eyes. There's something significant about fall. Someone saw the writing on the wall. At the end of the day, you can run, but you can't hide karmic. They were beating a dead horse. Then I have a Leo and a Gemini, who's a force of nature. All right, let's pull some letters here. Person, place, or thing. Letter A could be significant. N. Okay. 
an ankh could be significant. The ankh symbol, I. You can have um, that protection, the protection of the ankh, M. O. G fell into my lap. Z. J. S. One more. And P. Alright, I hope this helps. Have a good day.